Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to talk through how to do some CAN bus decoding on the Siglent SDS1104XE. We're going to press that default button and we're going to set it up so we can see that we are uh, decoding live CAN bus. Of course, there are better things to decode CAN bus in a way, depending on what it is you want to do. Uh, we've got the cheapo, I've made a few videos about this recently. And then, of course, if you want to really do automotive, you're going to want to collect a lot of data. So you're going to want to knock something up like this, which does the high speed and medium speed CAN bus at the same time. But they are topics for another video, so we'll put those out the way. And we will look at this so this is the this is the test circuit here if we can see that through there we've got a we've got a high speed CAN bus running at uh, 500 and, uh, 500 kilobits per second and we've got a medium speed CAN bus running at 125 kilobits per second so that simulates my Land Rover so let's just have a look what we've got so let's look at the medium speed first this is just injecting power. Let me get my little pointer. This is just injecting a bit more 5 volts power. Uh, this nano here is just driving a, a signal, a transmission signal. Goes over here, which which converts it into uh, in, into CAN bus signals. So this is this, this is the this is the tr transmitter part, if you like. And then this bit receives that across this this twisted pair wire here into here this decodes that data sends it over to the ESP32 and likewise up here we've got the high speed CAN bus transmission just in one Leonardo device high speed data goes across this twisted pair here blue and white into the receiver jumps over in, into the ESP32 so if we look at that on the screen if I can get my mouse on to over there like that we can see there that we've got uh, we've got the different signals so the 147 if we just pause that a moment my mouse point on there anything with ID 147 is coming from the high speed CAN bus and the 145s are coming from the uh, medium speed CAN bus and all we're literally doing is we're just counting in hexadecimal these these rows okay let's restart that and what we've got here then for the oscilloscope if we just put that back over here what we've got here for, for the oscilloscope is we are literally just connecting on there onto the uh, low side CAN bus and that's being fed over here onto the oscilloscope I think we probably should cover off that I am using a common ground and the reason for using common ground at the moment is not impossible and we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll show both but if I, if, I pull, if I pull this wire out here then you can see what happens to the oscilloscope that's not impossible to read we can we can reset that back up but for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to do it like this because it just makes a nice cleaner signal and we can we can see we, we can see the decoding better so let me see if I can position that correctly up there like this not the best lens for this for this job actually that fish islands is it but uh, anyway okay uh, what we're going to do is we're going to press the we're going to press the uh, the default button and reset everything. Okay, so that's just our raw signal now coming in from the high-speed CAN bus, and we're going to we're going to set this up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up our uh, screen. So let's get this up a little bit clearer. Let's bring this down here a little bit, like this. Let's bring that down a bit. Okay, 
That's because we know we're going to have the decoder at the top. Okay, let's see if we can set up a decoder. So we're going to press the decode button. Okay, we've got decoder one. We've got protocol can. So I'm, I'm just going to uh, show there. You've got you've got your different protocols that you can see there. We're using decoder one or decoder two, but we're going to use decoder one. We're going to we've got the board speed set at 500 kilobits per second, which is the one that we want. We need to get our signal level in the middle of that what just looks like noise at the moment. Set that at two volts. Now we need to set up a trigger. What else is on there? Is there anything else we need to discuss on that? Okay, you might want to look at your format. I'm, I've got it in hexadecimal. But I think that's it really for those settings. Now I'm going to click on the setup trigger because I need to trigger this. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just go back to uh, the decoder and I will just put display on. Okay, not quite sure why that's not displaying at the moment, but let's set up the trigger anyway. So we've got oh okay, it's not it's not it's not showing because I've got the, the, the trigger type on edge and I need to put this down to serial. Then I need to alter the protocol to can like this. Again, my signal needs to be set correctly. It needs to be in there. I'm gonna set it at exactly the same two volts. That's uh Widen this up, widen this up, so we can see a little bit more data. That's better. Okay, it's starting to look better. So we've got our signal done. Trigger setting. Uh, we'll just do it on the uh, on the start of a frame. Protocol can again. We've got we've got all that now. We've got our bus configured. I think yes, we did that earlier. So I think we're okay now. So if we go back to the encoder, or decoder should I say, I can put my display on there. List, display on, for decoder one. There you go, there you go, and we are done. Now, if you see gaps at the top of here guys, it's because this this here on the far left, let me get that a little bit more set up over now. No, stop pushing, pushing our buttons. We've got a oh, I touched my uh, my probe, but we've got we've got sort of a partial signal here. And if we just move that over, so it's so, so it's a full signal, then it, it'll start to decode. Oh dear, it'll start to decode more lines because it's got a full full first block on the screen. And if we zoom in a bit, like this, you'll see it again here because you've, 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 you've only got partials here. So again, if we just... Oh, not that one. <laughs> Wrong one. There's too many things. If I just move that over there. Perhaps not so bad. Then they all, they all move to the top. So hopefully you get that, guys. Uh, okay, if we zoom in, oh no, wrong one again. If we zoom in again, you can start to see the actual shape of the signal. And if I get that full w signal into the scope's view, it will decode it. Hopefully, there you go. It's decoding it, and we can see that as each thing comes up, as we showed on the on the PC screen. As each one comes up, then we start to keep counting up there. I right, so just adding a little bit in here because one thing I didn't cover off is that to get the best possible signal here, you want your probe to be on the uh, one times, not ten times, which is what you would normally use uh, for measuring every other signal I've I've, I've come across so far. Although this oscilloscope is new to me, in, in all fairness. Uh, but when you read up and you're researching about uh, oscilloscopes, it's it's clear that everybody says you should use times ten, 
but on in this instance you get a better signal and better decoding if you use times one uh, if you if you use times ten you'd get you just get sporadic errors coming across and it, I probably spent an hour trying to trying to well, I'd, I'd, I'd not used this circuit for nearly two years, so I, I thought there was perhaps something wrong with it. Maybe with some one of the one of the connections on my you know on my breadboard had, had had gone a little bit faulty, but uh, it, it wasn't. It was literally when it, when I swapped the probe to to, to, to one times it, it it stopped getting errors. So so just be aware of that, guys. But uh, I've I've looked at the video back and everything's covered. So hopefully you guys you guys can uh, can can replicate this replicate this so anyway guys I hope that's been useful please like subscribe so i can keep on making some content uh, and you guys take care see you later bye bye